y varies directly as z and inversely as x squared. And when y is equal to 6, z is equal to 3 and x is equal to 2. Find the constant of variation y when z is equal to 6 and x is equal to 4. Z when y is equal to 2 and x is equal to 2. So, welcome to this video. I'm PV State Tutor. Follow me as I show you how to work out a variation problem in a simple way. First of all, when something varies directly, let's say y varies directly as x, it's just like this. But there will be some form of k which is connecting the two. And when something varies inversely, for example, if y varies inversely, it will be 1 over x. But there will be some form of what? k to connect the two. Once you understand this concept, then you are okay. So, moving on to the equations, okay? Since y varies directly as z, so we are saying y is equal to k z over, it varies inversely as x squared, so we put x squared under. The same way I showed you here when I was writing there, it's the same concept. So y is varying directly as z and inversely as x squared. This is how you do it. So, what we are looking for is this k here, alright? We are looking for the k, k, which is the constant of variation. Well, how do we make k the subject? We, we can even make k the subject of, of the formula if you want. So, for me, I've already made it the subject of the formula. So, k is just equal to, if, if you can say, you can multiply y and x. So, y, x squared over what? Over z. So, this would be 6 times 2 squared over z is what? z is 3. I'm getting these that are here and plugging them there. So I'm getting k, the constant of variation, as 8. Now that you found the constant of variation, let's go on and work out part b, which says to find y when z is 6 and x is equal to 4. Alright, so z is 6, x is 4. That is part b. So we know that since y is equal to k um, kz over x squared. We now know that k is 8 and z is 6. And x is 4. So I'm going to put 4 squared. Alright. So this one I'll get 48 over 16. Which just give me what? 3. So y is 3. So the k that you found here, you substitute it back into the original equation so that you can now work out that value of y. C. We're looking for z when y is 2 and x is 2. We know again that y is just equal to k z over x squared. So how? If we if you are going to find z, we're going to replace 2 here. We place 8 there, then we put z there. We also replace 2 here, but we are squaring it. This is 4 times 2, we get what? 8. And there we get 8z. So z is just equal to 1. Because you can divide 8 throughout, and you are going to get z as what? As 1. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for following me in this video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on TikTok and Facebook. Moreover, you can also join my online classes. I can teach you a lot, but that is going to help you pass your exams. See ya.